Okay, let's continue. Said PT. There was no football class. And you're not supposed to dirty those white shorts. Yeah. <laughs> that was the instruction from home, but I never listened. <laughs> I was always dirty. But then I told her, then, then my chances of becoming are so, so dim. Because there's no practical what I do on the pitch. Nobody comes and tells me, you know what, this is what you did. And this is what you're going to do. Of course, like my economics teacher, my class teacher said, shut up. <laughs> Think about what other kids are doing. So then I realized that it's not, I'm not going to get helped. And, and now when I meet kids sir, from, from different schools, they have the same issue. They have the same issue that sports-wise, we aren't teaching them more. And I think, and I believe, I may be wrong, nothing else can teach you to be a better person than sports. Is what I believe. I may be wrong. Like the way I've talked to myself. But anything that could happen in my life is only because of sports. And I'm not even talking about all the, 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 the accolades or stuff I've got. It has made me a better person. And then I realized, why couldn't we inculcate that in school? Why couldn't we teach them? How bad were you before this? <laughs> Uh, okay, no, no, but that, that's true. And you know, I, I wasn't thinking of what I'm going to do. And I was, I was one of the kids where the parents are fighting. It's your, it's your, your, your mistake. No, no, it's your mistake. It's because of you. No, no, it's because of you. And then suddenly, because of sports, everything changed. So everything changed. Only football made sure that I left everything and not think about anything else. So whenever there was football, it was all me there, thinking, concentrating, becoming, trying to become my better self. Rest. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best thing about sport is, uh, I think uh, we have to acknowledge because it was two days ago that it was the 125th anniversary of uh, Vivekananda speaking in Chicago. <laughs> well, most people would have not noticed this aspect of him. He said one thing. He said, you are closer to the divine in kicking a ball than in prayer. <laughs> because you can pray without involvement. You can go to school without involvement. You can work without involvement. You can even get married without involvement. <laughs> yes. But you cannot play a game without involvement. And the essence of life is only in involvement. Without involvement, there is no life. How profound is your involvement will determine how profound is your experience of life. The question is not in what. Well, you found that involvement in sport, but it doesn't matter what. If somebody finds absolute involvement in something, they will know life in a certain way, which others will completely miss. Those people who are goal-oriented, that they want to get there, they want to get here, they want to become something at the age of three, you ask a little girl, what do you want to be? I want to be doctor. <laughs> so from the age of three, she is praying, a lot of people should be sick. <laughs> I'm saying market development is needed, right? <laughs> so this goal-orientedness has, this is a very Western way of looking at life always the goal. The finish line is more important than the step that you're taking right now. It's a foolish way to live. If you get to the finish line, you will still not be ecstatic. Your only ecstasy is somebody is behind you. It's a sickness that you enjoy other people's failures. It's a sickness. But if you make it, you will not be exuberant. If you don't make it, of course, you'll be broken. The important thing is to be, de be absolute to the process, what we're doing right now. How far will it get us? Depending upon our competence, it'll get us as far as it gets. How far we go in the world is also determined by the situations in which we exist, the times in which we exist. If you were kicking a ball really well a thousand years ago, you wouldn't be a national captain or nothing. Okay? Because thousand years ago, you kicked a ball really wonderfully, wouldn't mean anything. Kill a deer or can you chop down a tree or can you get this or that, that would have been the skill. So it is the times. Where we get, how far we get, the times will decide. But the question is only this. Everything that you have, is it finding expression or no? 
that's all it is. Are you better than somebody? That is not even the question. Everything that you are, is it finding expression or you yourself are a big problem. For most human beings, they don't need any enemies. They're just doing great by themselves. <laughs> yes, they are. Every day their own thought, their own emotion, their own ideas, their own stupid philosophies, they're just destroying people. Mm. See, every human being has a certain genius in them, every human being. Only thing is, unless they find the right atmosphere and right level of involvement, that genius will not flower. And the sad story of, on this planet is, 99% of the population never opens up their genius. They will live mediocre lives simply because they are interested in the goal. What will they get in the end? They want to know what will they get in the end. They are not interested in what's happening now. What will you get in the end? We will bury you. <laughs> so I think you who couldn't open their geniuses, make sure a kid has a chance. Because a three-year-old kid cannot say, I want to be a doctor unless you tell the kid. Excellent. That's a great message. Doctor? Yeah. <laughs> Very so, th this is so common nowadays. I know it's so simple when you say it, but even when the parents, after like one session and I go and see them and I play with them, Sir, kya mera beta football player banega? Sir, I have no answer. Sir, Ronaldo banega. Ronaldo. <laughs> Not Sunil Chetri. <laughs> right away. Sir, I, and I've got no answer, sir, because one beautiful thing that my parents did for me was they never asked me, what are you going to be? So whenever in my head I wanted to be the next Leander Pace, they let me be. I you tell be them at, at, uh, at 15 yards, if your child can kick the ball into your face, he will make it. <laughs> But to all the parents, that is very, very true. Uh, I hope there was a formula where, where I can give you and your kid can be someone, he or she, but there is no formula. Let them be and uh, they'll find a way. As Guruji just told us, they'll find a way. If your children's lives matter to you, if they really matter to you, if their happiness matters to you, if their life matters to you, do not look at your children as some way of fulfilling all your failed ambitions about yourself. Very important. It's a... Child is a fresh life. It doesn't come from you. It only comes through you. You don't own it. It's in your custody. It's a privilege that this bundle of joy has come to you. It's for you to learn. It's not for you to impose your stuff. Because if the next generation becomes just like you, what is the point of having a next generation? They have to be something different. They have to do something else. Otherwise, what's the point? Very true. Kids, take the YouTube video of this. Whenever parents are forcing you, make sure. <laughs> yeah. Whenever your parents are saying, sorry parents, be a doctor, be this, be that, be Ronaldo, be a Messi, this. I want to be myself and I'll make my own way. That's a great, that's a great weird one. Pakka, in uh, with the video. Aspiring to be a messy, you know, if just one alphabet goes, you're a mess. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good one, sir, because <laughs> all of us will agree that we want our next generation to be better. Not better in the sense that they're competing, but just better. Things that... No, but sir, tell me one thing, why... why parents and that age group people say you things and it's so true the things that they couldn't do like whenever you do want, want to do something then you have to say this or whenever you want to try something then you have to do this or this can't happen stuff like that see parenting has become a very fear based thing their idea of love is to be anxious all the time mm -hmm. anxiety mm -hmm. is being misunderstood as love affair and most people their love affairs, whatever kind, with their children, with their parents, with their lovers, or whatever, for most of them, love is beautiful only in the initial phase. After that, it's only anxiety. They're just anxious, what will happen, what will happen, what will happen? 
So, when you have children, of course there is concern because it's a fresh life, it needs protection, it needs an atmosphere to grow. Your business is just for the soil for this new plant. You are not the sunlight, you are just the soil. Provide a rich soil, an atmosphere of love, joy. Okay guys, hold on. Enthusiasm. Very important part here. Previous videos may have very important, this is very important. Continue, just hold on.